Okay, going to do a little video update here. Today is Sunday, February 6th. Uh, first of all, as to the molasses questions, question, molasses may or may not chelate iron. I don't know, but uh, even if it does, it does not help the plants. Uh, these spinaches are looking better now, but that's after I treated them with regular chelated iron last weekend. Uh, there's still some unhealthy looking leaves in there, but those will probably just have to be cut off. But as far as the molasses goes, here's what it did to some of my leaves. Uh, maybe I used it too thick of a concentration and it just caked on there. But in any case, it definitely never absorbed or caused the plant to absorb any iron. So I won't be doing that again. But uh, the chelated iron definitely did work. And uh, anyway, the lettuces that were in this bed are gone. Fed them to the fish. And they, I think they bolted. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm now, I put some watermelon plants in here. I don't know. I don't know if watermelon will work in uh, aquaponics, but I'll try it first. Uh, rather than asking somebody and having them tell me it doesn't work, I'd rather try it myself. Uh, here we have some fish, probably hard to see with the reflection there. I'm adding a little bit of water to the tank right now uh, because I added some floating raft beds over last weekend in this one. Uh, these are the three beds. At that far end there was a gravel bed before. That's moved over here. Uh, that's the one that had all the basil in it, which I've since took, taken out. And I haven't, haven't replanted this bed very much yet. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with it. This bed, this is the tomato bed. Uh, we've got some cherry tomatoes coming out here. And it looks like some pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good harvest here of tomatoes in the next few weeks. Should be anyway. And they're just all over the place. Just look for them. At the very end, there's a cucumber plant, and this one is uh, starting to blossom. I don't know if you can see that there. It's hard to make these videos with these little camera phones. There should be some in here. Yeah. yeah they have flowers all over the place. Uh, anyway, back to the raft uh, aquaponics set up here. Set this up last week. That lettuce is a transplant. I gotta throw that out. That's just never gonna work. But these other ones, these, this might work. This one might work, and that one might actually work. These over here are, uh, these six are broccoli. Uh, I don't know what broccoli is supposed to look like once it's been put in a floating raft system. And these spinaches are transplants from the bathtub that uh, got the molasses iron disaster treatment. Maybe it'll recover, I don't know. Uh, I'd rather try it and it doesn't work, I'll just throw it out. These are all lettuces that had germinated. They had germinated and had been left in the germination tray for about three or four weeks. I'm actually not sure. And I moved them over here once I got this set up uh, last weekend. And I don't know if they're going to work or not. But like I said, I'm just trying it out. And this one I set up yesterday. This is the third floating raft uh, to set up. They're all connected here in the middle. I haven't planted anything on that one yet because I don't have anything to plant right now. The water starts off in this first bed over here. That's the line from the sump goes through this. This is basically a particulate filter. It's to filter out the floating particles. Uh, those are Metalla pond filters. Water comes in on this side, goes through several different densities of filters. There's a little bit of, we add some oxygen in there to help in the nitrification process. And then it goes out the end there into the, to the raft. The reason you need these filters is because in a floating raft, particles in the water will adhere to the roots and eventually suffocate the plant. 
and you can't take those particles out with a swirl filter because they don't sink. They're neutrally buoyant or they even float. So the swirl filter, which I have here, just won't take them out. You have to get rid of them with something else. And that's what that filter's for. Uh, at the very end, this last raft has a, a drain at the end that goes back to the sump. Inside, uh, there's just an extra hole here where that stand pipe is that allows me to set the level I want in the bed in the raft. And uh, that's pretty much how that works. Uh, here's our sump. Uh, you can see the, the water is stays pretty clean. I've got a few fingerlings in here. I uh, probably can't see them with the reflection off the water, but they, they did make their way down here from the tank through the soil filter and, and down one of the down the soil filter pipe. Uh, so one of the female tilapia obviously had uh, produced more fish. Over here I just set up, uh, this is a wicking bed. It's the first of hopefully several that I'll be setting up. Those are radishes we just planted this morning. Uh, Move them over from our germination tray. And uh, that's about it. Here's the tank. There's a fish down there. Nice big one. Uh, these are the lettuces that were in the bathtub that I didn't want to... They had bolted, so I threw most of the leaves in here. The fish will eat them. And there's a good view of the cucumber plant and the tomato plants coming up nicely. And hopefully we'll have a lot more planted here very soon. Uh, that's all for now.